How we doing today? Well, I went to the bank. I deposited some of my profit earnings from the farmer's market, some money I saved up, and some money I sold to other people, items that I had laying around the house. And uh, I went to the bank, put my secondary account, and, uh, and some of you are probably going to think, well, why do you have a secondary account? Well, my secondary account basically I use for property tax, Christmas, birthdays, anniversaries, and whatever I want to get without using the money in the checking account. And that's basically why I have a secondary account. Now, um, I've been given Zazzle. It's a company I use for my labels for the products that I use and sell in the sake of the farmer's market. And uh, I just now, oh, excuse me, got my products in, which were supposed to be here a week ago. <clears throat> and uh, I just got them in today. And, uh, well, I made another video of it, and I deleted it because it was 34 minutes long, and I don't want a 34-minute video that's going to take two hours to download. So I deleted it started over. These are my labels. What's well, upside down? I guess it would help if my ass put it the right way, huh? There, that's my label. And uh, as I was sitting here earlier talking to you, put them on my bottles. Now, they look about normal because it's video wise and everything's kind of super imploded, but when you bring it back out, the label's itty bitty compared to what my normal labels are. Which is okay, but you know, it says what it is, and it has my my indicator name on it, which is Butt Nuggets and Fruit Farm, and a lot of y'all probably be thinking, why in the hell are you using Butt Nuggets and Fruit Farm? Well, a long time ago, I used to sell eggs, and I got out of the egg business, and I just kept it because it was such a comical name and, and everything else. Uh, I have a page on Facebook, so if you if you ever get curious enough, you can go on Facebook, type in Butt Nuggets and Fruit Farm, and my page will come straight up. Just like it is on YouTube, except for YouTube has wild crafting because, well, we do dig plants and roots occasionally and pick up other gathering herbal things and, you know, we do stuff like that. But my last day for the farmer's market is November 1st, and that's when they're going to cease production of the farmer's market. Now, there, were, there was talks about maybe extending it up to about Thanksgiving, but that's kind of like up in the air. And there was also talks about having like a like a spot day, just like a random way. Like, okay, we're going to have a, a day of this, you know, you know, after the first, like, you know, like the second or third week of o October, second or third week of uh, November. Be like here, it's like out of the blue, we're just going to set up and, you know, whatever takes place, takes place. And, uh, which, you know, if it does, great, so be it. If not, no big deal. This allows me enough time to acquire and gather everything that I need. So when the next season starts for the farmer's market, I'll have an abundance of items and things to take with me. One of the things I'm going to be taking will be jellies, cookies, and things of that nature because I'm getting my cert for state of Kentucky to allow me to do home-based food cooking to sell at the farmers market and uh, that will you know I do this I'm doing this for a hobby not a business uh, this is fun for me uh, if I make some money on the side great because it'll go for uh, buying the kids stuff that they need uh, you know Paying whatever bill might come pop up. You know, I'm not making a huge bank of money. Now, I have over the summer because I had a lot of produce with me. And it was a lot of the produce that I grew at home that we were not using at the time. Or we had I had so much of it, I couldn't give it away quick enough. And I couldn't use it fast enough. So I took it to the farmer's market. And, you know, I made a few bucks off of it. You know, the American dream. So, and that's what I did. But with that cert, of course, I, I had to get my cert in March because that's when the new one comes out. It goes from March to March, just like a state license. I had to renew it once a year. 
So at least when I get it in March, that gives me up until ne next March uh, that I can pedal my goods and everything else. Now I have a lot of stuff uh, still available in the house that's not being used, which is great for me because I'll just let it sit and do its do its own thing. Because uh, next year I'm going I'm going to get a canopy like everybody else up there has, except for the canopy that I'm going to get is going to have a side wall and a back wall with an open face and uh, so that way I have shade and uh, I found something else online that I might take with me in the hotter part of the summer months it's like a um, basically it's a stand-up AC unit and uh, that way I can plug I'm, I'm, I'm gonna park close to the uh, adapter plug uh, plug-in piece for at, at, in the area and if I have to get me a, a drop cord, plug it up, run it across to, over to my canopy so I can sit there and, you know, either, of course, just, you know, it's gonna, I'm going to have open face and still heat's still going to come in. But at least I'll have a, a, a small area of coolness that I can sit back and, you know, I can do my own thing. Everybody else has open canopies, like, you know, like all four sides are open or they have like three sides, a little back flap or something. No, I'm not doing that. I'm having three complete sides that are enclosed with a roof canopy and an open face. And then on top of it, I also gonna have a banner that goes on the on the on the front of it that hangs down. Or I'm going to get like like the uh, yard sale sign things or the the politician signs that has a little metal hooks, so I can take my little sign and stick it in the ground and have it you know positioned to where my canopy piece is. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna spend some extra money that I normally would not do, but it seems like um, these are the things that you know a lot of people get a lot more business with uh, at the market. Um, and I'm just gonna you know I'm I'm gonna follow by example and do the same thing and be done with it. Uh, I've already, also have already started working on my next year's garden. Uh, what I'm growing, what I'm not growing, what I'm taking in, what I'm not going to put put in. Um, I'm going to replace my wooden beds with, excuse me, with concrete block. Uh, I'm going to make them. I'm, I'm going to make it a foot wider, and I might not make it exactly 16 foot long. I might make them like eight foot long and break them up with like little segments in the middle. I'm not for sure yet. I might just do the 16 foot long and get some cattle paddle fencing and place them in the center, stakes down, that way I can tie them up to it. And that way a lot of my stuff can grow up the cattle fencing and not have these little baskets that are falling all over the place. Uh, baskets get quite expensive. Uh, I can buy one sheet of cattle panel fencing for the price of like six baskets. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be reverting to that stage and um, then on top of it um, of course I was planning on doing it this year but things took place and other things were more priority than what I was wanting to do so I didn't get to do it but we are working on the side piece um, now it won't be to the satisfaction that I would like it to be but it's still going to be there for next spring. Um, but we are going to have blackberries and blueberries on the side piece over here. Uh, on this corner side of my yard where it's a lot of vegetation kind of overgrowth. Um, I am going to put uh, two beehives on the corner side over there. I'm going with it. I'm rolling with it. I don't care. Um, it's either going to work for me or it's not going to work for me. It's, it's going to be one of the two. But I'm getting two beehives. I'm going to start out with two. And I'm going to do my magic with that. And uh, see how it goes. And if, and, if, and if it goes really good for me, uh, I might add two more hives. Like the next following year. And the reason for that is because there's so many wildflowers. There's so many wild blackberries. I mean, there's just so many things around me in the spring when that comes up flower-wise. That, you know, my bees, if I had them would be like, you know, a kid in a candy store. You know, they, they wouldn't know where to go. 
but I'm done with this video. I'm making a shorty. Uh, I'll, I'll be back later. So, yeah, y'all have a great day. And uh, I'm done talking, so have a great afternoon. Clickety-click. Come on now, where's that dumb button at?